Number five, write a balanced molecular equation describing each of the following chemical reactions. And we have letter C of the bunch. So in this reaction, we have aqueous solutions of magnesium chloride and sodium hydroxide react to produce solid magnesium hydroxide and aqueous sodium chloride. Okie dokie. We just have to write a balanced molecular equation. So there's two different things here. We have to first write a molecular equation, and then we just have to balance it. We've done tons of questions with balancing, so I'm not really too worried about that. But now let's just get our feet wet as to what exactly a molecular equation is. A molecular equation is basically a full-blown equation in which you will see two things. You will see everything in their either elemental form, or I'm just going to put their compound form up here. Okay, basically, in a molecular equation, you have compounds. You do not have any charges. So, for example, you might see something that's like, I don't know, CO2 or, I don't know, KOH, right? You will not see charges, like potassium has a plus one, a hydroxide has a negative one. You won't see these charges in the equation. You need the full-blown compound. The second thing that molecular equations have to have is the states of those elemental guys or the compound guys. So your states are solid, liquid, gas, and aqueous. They should tell you what state your compound or your element is in, okay? So now with that in mind, let's literally take this super hard, you know, and crazy sentence and just turn it into something that we can understand in chemistry. So it says that we have aqueous solutions of magnesium chloride and sodium hydroxide. Seems like magnesium chloride, the compound, is in its aqueous form. And sodium hydroxide is also aqueous, right? They have aqueous solutions of this and that. So I know that both of these are going to be aqueous, AQ. Now, aqueous, AQ, just means that you will dissolve in water. Kind of like when you put sugar into your coffee or your tea, right? And you mix it around. The sugar is in its aqueous solution, right? You mix it around and you mix it around and, and poof, it vanishes, right? It's in the solution, right? Unless you put, you know... 15 cups of sugar like I do, <laughs> and it doesn't dissolve. Um, but, you know, hopefully all the sugar should, you know, you can't see it anymore. It dissolved. It's aqueous. Okay, so now we have to write these compounds. This is coming back to chapter two or three, I think, or maybe even chapter one of this textbook. Um, so I won't pay too much attention because we've already done tons of questions like this. But just know that if, you know, magnesium chloride, you have to take the charges from the periodic table. Magnesium is Mg and it's in group two. So it's a plus two. Chloride is chlorine. So that's Cl and that comes from group 17 or 7A. But chlorine has a negative one charge. You do the crisscross method to see how much of each you have. You have two that comes down here to tell me that I have two chlorines. And you have a one up top here, which will crisscross to tell me that I need one magnesium. I can't simplify these. So this would just be MgCl2. And that's your first compound. So I know that MgCl2, but I have to write the states. They told me it was aqueous. So I'm going to say Aq. And sodium hydroxide. So plus and I need to write the formula for sodium hydroxide. Sodium is in group one. So that's Na plus one, right? Hydroxide, however, is a polyatomic ion. You guys should memorize your polyatomic ions, okay? And their charges. There's no way out. <laughs> There's no way out. Hydroxide is always at OH minus one, okay? So just write this down. Just say, you know, this is hydroxide. And 
flashcarded out. Uh, but yeah, you got to m- remember those polyatomics. Do the crisscross method. You got one and you have one. So you have one Na and you have one OH. So I know that I have NaOH. I got to add the state. They told me it was aqueous. So AQ. Okay. And it's reacting to produce. Looks like these are coming in contact with each other to produce something else. So when we're producing something or we're starting to tell uh, what's going to be produced, that's the yield sign. The reaction of this will produce these guys. What are they? Magnesium hydroxide. Okay, well, we know that magnesium is a plus two. And hydroxide, just like we did before, was an OH minus one. Crisscross it out. Two comes down here telling me that I have two OHs. One tells me that I have one magnesium. But since I have multiple polyatomics, I need parentheses when I write my formula. So this would technically be Mg1, but you don't have to write the one, OH2. State? Well, they told me it was a solid. So S and plus and aqueous sodium chloride. Sodium is in group one. That's a plus one charge. Chlorine, just like before, was a minus one. You guys start to see it, right? One and one. So just be NaCl. And that's aqueous. So let me just bring this over and... I will just put the AQ sign. So we've done half of the piece of the puzzle. We've done the molecular equation. However, anytime that you write a molecular equation, it has to be balanced. Every equation in chemistry has to be balanced. So always check to make sure that you balance it. We've done tons of problems with working with the chart, right? You can do it that way if you want. I'm just going to do like a quick version. Let's see. I'm going to try to just spot out what looks different on the left and the right side. So let's see. I have two chlorines on the left side, right? I have two of these, but I only have one on this side. So what number would I put here to get me to a two? Oh, two times two, right? So I can just put a two in front of here. But just know that this tells me that I have two sodiums and two chlorines. So now the sodiums have changed. I have two sodiums here. Looks like I only have one here. What number do you think is going to go in front to get to two? Two, right? So I'm going to put a two here. And now let's see. How many polyatomics do I have of hydroxide? I have two OHs. And if I look on the... Right-hand side, I have two OHs, so they're balanced. And then the last one to check is magnesium. I have one magnesium on the left side. I have one magnesium on my product side or the right side. So I'm officially balanced. This is the full-blown balanced molecular equation. And that's it. Guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments if this helped you out. Hit the like button or, you know, do whatever. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope you guys are having a great time. And, you know, well, not that you're having a great time, but I hope you guys are uh, learning a lot in school. Um, And, yeah, keep going, guys. All right? Let's keep learning. And see you guys all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.